the piece of that that I've seen is is uh, that really bothers me is when people say, well, you know, we really don't have to do anything because, you know, the younger generations are coming in and they'll they'll fix. They're they're collaborative and they love technology. And, well, the truth is th that's not so much right. Um, if you look at the generational studies, and not only that, but if if we keep pushing that off, then it won't change because they'll just come in to the same organization and be baked into the same culture. And then they'll just, you know, in a few years, they won't be the young people anymore. They'll be the old people who act exactly the same way as, as, as we do now. Uh, so somebody has to uh, kind of take the reins and make that change, right? And what I think is interesting is if you look at, uh, if you go outside the generations and you look um, at the way people, are, you know, back again to the way people are using technology at home and in their own personal lives, you know, the boomer generation and older are huge users of social media and social tools, but they're only doing it at home because it's never been part of their workplace. It's never been part of how they get work done, you know, and, and so it, it's really frustrating that they'll go home and not think twice about getting on Skype to video chat with their grandchildren. But to think about doing it at the office, to think about instead of a meeting, we'll just get everybody on a, a you know, multi-person video conference call on Skype, on Skype for 10 minutes and do it that way. You know, getting them to think like that is, is really difficult. So... It, you know, it's that barrier between home and work, right?